Facebook, possibly the most powerful website in the world. 50% of 18 through 24 year olds check it as soon as they wake up. Half of them before they even get out of bed. It's like their faith is consumed by Facebook, but there's a huge difference between the two. Facebook produces lazy selfishness. Faith produces loving solutions. Let me explain. More often than not, we check our Facebook and we see our friends or people we know that are posting these pictures or videos of things they're doing, they're having fun on vacation or having a good time with friends, and we look at them and we start to compare ourselves to them. And we start to say, why is my life not like that? Why is my life so boring? Why can't I be like them? And we get overwhelmed with how many likes they have or the, the comments underneath their feed. And some of them have more friends than us or more followers. And it starts to make us feel empty. We start to compare ourselves with them and that forms our identity. This causes us to feel lonely, empty, even depressed inside. Millions of people are struggling with this. And it's something that they're finding their identity through Facebook. Research proves that those who have more friends on Facebook are more likely to be depressed. For some of you watching this, this might actually hit home pretty hard. But I want to let you know that if you have an empty feeling inside, if you feel lonely or depressed or sad, it could very well possibly be because you spend too much time on social media. And for those of you out there, I want to let you know straight up, it's something very important that you need to understand that God loves you very much. You were created in his image. Psalms 139 says, he created you fearfully and wonderfully. He knit you together in your mother's womb. So when you run from him and go to Facebook, what's that saying? Some of us need to put down the Facebook and pick up our faith in his book. Because instead of quieting our hearts and allowing God to transform us, we turn to social media and we define ourselves through someone else's status. Instead of focusing on certain fruits of the Spirit like love, kindness, self-control, and peace, we tend to focus on likes, comments, statuses, and pictures. Really, we need to turn our eyes off of Facebook, off of social media, and turn our eyes to the Lord. Put our faith in God. So as an encouragement to you today, no matter what your status is, know this. Our identity is found in Christ through faith, not crap through Facebook.